This is Jack from No Code MBA. Now today we're going to look at three no code business ideas that you can build using Webflow. Now Webflow is a no code website builder that is very customizable. It has a CMS and it also allows for dynamic pages, which means that you can build some of the ideas that we're going to talk about today. Now, if you want to learn more about these business ideas, we'll go into more depth in the playlist. So click the link to that. And at the end of the video as well, we'll also have a quick look at some businesses today that have used Webflow to build their no-code business. So this is an article that I'm going to go off. Again, we've made videos on these before, so be sure to check them out. This is 11 profitable business ideas you can build without code today. And this is great because basically it goes through the idea, how to build it, how to get and retain users, how to monetize, etc., along with some people who are doing it profitably. So the first one is a job board. So this is about building a specific job board for a specific industry. So you can do it for design jobs, remote jobs, healthcare jobs, but be really niching down in terms of what the jobs are going to be to make it specific. Now you can build this in Webflow. Again, we'll, what we'll need to do is use a CMS and then allow for dynamic pages. And Webflow allows you to do this because it has that capability to do it. Now, with some of the examples we're going to look at later, it can also say build with card or Squarespace. But with this one, you really need something like Webflow because of the dynamic pages that it allows for. But the idea here is that you build the job board for a specific industry. You then use content marketing for SEO to drive search traffic. You can post your job board on related online communities, for example, communities inside Reddit. You can collect emails of visitors and send out weekly emails with the new job postings. And we can also post on Twitter as well. So that's another example, but there are other ways to do this too. Now, in terms of monetizing, you can charge companies for highlighted job postings and email newsletter postings. So if a company says, we really want to hire someone, you can say, okay, well, for a fee, you can have your job at the top of the job board post or you can put it in the email newsletter. Additionally, you can also charge for users to pay to have access to better jobs, to get pushed first to the queue when they apply for jobs and other features as well. Now the next one is a little bit meta because you're also going to be using Webflow in order to provide the products, but it's this, to build websites for local businesses. And this is a very popular way to use no code tools to start a business or to start your own thing. And it's simple to build websites for local businesses like restaurants, salons, and movers. So you can do it in your local area. Now, when you're thinking about this as well, in terms of your niche, it could be you provide websites in your local area, or you can do a specific type of website for people around the country. So for example, if you have, if you work for movers, then you're only really stuck to one mover in your local area, because obviously you don't want to work with two, meaning that there's a conflict of interest there. But if you do for different areas or allow for different areas, then it, it means that you can actually work with just movers. So you can think about that in general. But the idea is to build websites for local businesses. Now you can do this in Webflow or you can do it in Card. And what you're doing in terms of building your own website is you're highlighting your services and allowing people to easily get in touch with you and to buy your services from you. So you can do it in Webflow. You can also do it in Card but you're also using these tools, these no-code tools, in order to build the websites for other people as well. So if it's for a moving company, you can do this inside of Card, you can do it in Webflow or Squarespace. Now, in terms of how to get and retain users, again, we've made a video on this, so I'll just highlight two uh, quickly. You can send code emails to offer your services to local businesses. So you're sending an email to somebody to say, hey, your website might need updating, I can do this for you, let's have a conversation about it. But a lot of these are also just about uh, networking with people, either on LinkedIn, at meetups, at events in your local area. So it's getting to know people and get to know local businesses so that they trust you first before they take your business. And then to monetize it, you can charge a monthly fee to build and host a website with updates, or you can charge a larger one-time fee to build a website with no monthly fee. You can also make a combination of the two. And the other one we're going to talk about today is productized content marketing for online businesses. So most businesses can benefit from content marketing, and this is something that you can offer. So you can charge here, like it says, charge a monthly fee to write a set number of articles for business. 
and you can either write them yourself or hire work writers of sites like Upwork. Now, just before I go too deep in this, we did do a case study on someone who does this, Scribbly. So I'll leave a link to that in the description for you and be sure to watch that after this. But the idea again is that you're going to build this landing page, this website off your services in workflow. But the idea here is that you're gonna build a site to offer your services and to market your services in Webflow. And then when people come to your website, then they can sign up for your services. And again, this is quite similar to the one we just talked about in terms of how to get and retain users, but it's to send code emails to businesses, um, include links to sample work and testimonials. You can write your own content to increase search traffic. So if you're actually saying, hey, I can help you with your content marketing, this is something you can do as well to highlight how you've done this successfully. And then there are other things like getting referrals and going on product hunt and different online communities and just working with your local network. So this is just an example of someone using Webflow to build their website. Again, it's Scribbly, where it's a content marketing agency. So this is talking about the idea, the last idea, and someone doing this successfully. And you can see they build their website with Webflow. It allows for great customization, but it also has drag and drop features as well, in addition to templates. So what to do next? Firstly, go to our website and get your free guide to no code tools. It's free to download, just enter your details. We'll send it to your inbox. While you're on our website, just click the courses button and take a look at the different courses we have on offer, including tutorials on how to build a job board within Webflow. So we actually go through this step by step and also how to set up Webflow in a very basic way if you're very new to it. And then be sure to browse some more of our videos. Again, I'll leave a link to the case studies in the description um, or feel free just to click onto our channel page and watch videos that appeal to you. And the last thing, be sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with our latest videos. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.